Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> it has been a while. <laughs> Welcome to another Marvel Legends review of the Marvel Legend Ghost Rider. But I'm not doing the full review on this figure right here that you're seeing. I'm just doing a review on the bike itself. And I also have the figure that the bike came with. So let me move this bike over here for a second. And this is Johnny Blaze that comes with the bike. He's an okay looking figure. But something I didn't know that a lot of reviewers I think missed or just didn't say, he could do the penance stare. Like if you move his jaw, his eyes come forward and it's the penance stare. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. I didn't even know they had jaw articulation. A lot of people said this was the first one that ever had jaw articulation. This came out in 2005, guys. So, okay. I never saw this in anybody's review. I could have sworn. I just seen a lot of people's reviews on these bikes. I was looking at a lot of them. And I didn't see anybody talk about these eyes. These eyes are really cool. That's probably one of the coolest features of this figure. <laughs> but other than that, it's really basic. Um, it's got some pliable material around the collar of the jacket and the jacket itself. It doesn't have much ab crunch. There is like a little ab crunch slit on the back of it. <laughs> but it doesn't move. Cool thing about this figure that I like though too is the hands open up. And they have a hinge at the wrist. And they swivel at the at the glove. Double jointed elbows. Double jointed knees. So it's pretty cool. Swivel at the bicep. Um, arms go all the way up. And he does have the butterfly joint. Which is pretty cool. Sorry for the sniffling and the snorting. It's just that um, I'm a little congested in the mornings. Sorry about that. My voice is a little different too because of it. It sounds like I'm sick, but I'm not. But anyway, this figure right here is, uh, what else? Um, before, I was, it has a, a swivel. Um, swivels at the, the hip. Goes out the hip. It's got the little belt. But the new one looks so much better than this figure, guys. Ah, uh, gotta pause. Alright, so, yeah, man, these damn allergies. Anyway, so, the figure, it's really skinny. I'm gonna be giving this to another one of my friend's kids. Probably give it to him today. That's why I had to do this review, like, today, because I'm about to go to work soon, and I just want to make sure I have another review on my channel. It's been a while, guys, and I'm sorry. And I'll talk about that in a minute. I just want to get the articulation done with this figure. Like I said, he has his double jointed knees. Uh, he has boot, boot rotation. He does his. Uh, he has hinge at the ankles. Uh, what is that? Toe articulation, and then there's a slight, slight ankle pivot. You can see that. Just very slight. He's really a loose figure, guy. Guys, um, oh, his hair is a little translucent. Not that much. But yeah, man, that pennant stare is really cool, guys. So that's this figure, okay? I don't really like it that much. I just wanted to get it done. That's why I went over it so fast. Sorry. Anyway, the main reason why I got this, and I've known about the Ghost Rider bike for a long time, and it's nothing that I've talked about on my channel, because I want you to know, leave some secrets. I don't want you guys knowing every toy I want, you know? So, and sorry for, like, not making videos for a while. I guess I'll talk about that for a second. Um, I just, you know, been working, just been trying to get some money up, and... I uh, randomly just went through eBay again, like at eBay, thinking like, is there anything else that I wanted besides Hawkbuster and uh, Black Bolt? And by the way, Black Bolt is still in the mail. Um, I ordered him from Japan. <laughs> I got him for like 50 bucks. Not that many of them on eBay, and they're pretty much all 50 bucks. So that's what the price is. So, you know, that's what it was. So I got it. Um, so I got the San Diego Comic Con exclusive 2014 uh, Black Bolt. He is on his way. So I'll probably have him next week, which will be awesome. So yeah, um, and Hawkbuster I will be buying on Friday. So I should have him by uh, next Monday or Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. That is definitely happening. So um, like I said, uh, this is almost like one of those, this is almost like the Gambit toy uh, or figure. Um, I definitely wanted this fig this this uh, accessory. I just had to, you know, make sure I had everything I wanted, you know, in my collection. So, so far I'm pretty much content with all the figures that I have. So, and I've made a catalog in my place on my uh, YouTube channel. You can check all of them out. 
Um, that's what this channel is, is me pretty much collecting the figures to make my ultimate Marvel collection. <laughs> it was just to make it around Hulk, so now it's pretty much like who I like and why I like them or if I had one of them as a kid, you know what I mean? Just sit like that. But anyway, I know I'm rambling. I just haven't talked to you guys in a while, so I thought I'd throw that out there. Um, but yeah, this is a lot of Marvel Legends coming. You know, we got Black Bolt Marvel Legend, and I also have the Hulkbuster like 2.0 Marvel Legend coming. So it's a lot of Marvel Legends. And then, you know, this is my, pretty much my most expensive accessory I've ever bought. Like I said, I got it for 50 bucks. It does come with the figure, and it also comes with a comic book. Comic book's right here. I got it in the box. So, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I know people probably from eBay would be pissed to know that I buy their figures to open them up. But, whatever, they don't need to know. You know, you, you save all that time. I mean, yeah, you, you take all that time to save something and someone just opens it up in like 2.0 seconds, you know what I mean? Like, like it's nothing. They didn't take me long to open him up at all. But, dudes, he looks so good on his bike. He really does. Like... It's awesome to have this Ghost Rider. Like, so let me show off this bike a little bit <laughs> with Ghost Rider on it. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not, I don't want to take him off. <laughs> so that's what it looks like from the front. The front looks kind of weird. It's cool as you can see the flame from the top of the bike. I like that. The flames right here in the front are really cool. I'm loving that flame effect. Flame effect goes throughout the whole bike. Right down here, up here on the gas tank. Then you got his head is on fire, then, you know, right behind him. And he sits, like, all the way on the back of the bike, though. Like, he's sitting all the way on the back of the, um, big-ass sissy bar. But it's cool. Like, I don't mind. He should be, like, sitting, like, right here. But whatever. It, it still looks good, though. You know what I mean? You can't tell that it doesn't. And this little, this little bar right here keeps him up, which is tight. So you should be seeing him from this way. Yep, that's the way you should be seeing it. Just wanted to show you all the different views. This bike is sick, though, guys. 50 bucks for a bike. If you can spare it, do it. And I'm not trying to be a toy snob by getting all these random accessories that don't come with a lot of figures. It's just that, it, for me, personally, I'm not, I don't have that many figures in my collection. So, the least I can do, the least thing that I can do is get all the, you know, accessories for it. So... I had to get the official bike. There's no other bike that fits this figure besides the, uh, that, like, black and orange one. I don't remember the name of that bike. But, yeah, this is, like, Series 7 Legends right here, 2005. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's old, guys. We're talking 10 years old. That's crazy. This 10-year-old bike looks perfect. I mean, this thing right here, they could, they could do something different, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, like, I am so stoked they got this bike. For real, it helps put it all together. The hair. Like, dude, I was so excited to see this. This is the biggest accessory on my fucking dresser right now. Like, it's so cool. I love it. Like, this is what Ghost Rider should have looked like back in 2005. So cool, man. Love the flames. Let's definitely pick it up, guys. I strongly suggest this one. But like I said, there's not that many on eBay. And there is a variant to this bike, too. You can get it in all flames. Like, it's fully flamed out. But to me, I don't want the hell bike. I, I mean, I like the hell bike now. I don't want it fully hellish. You know, this is cool. You get both worlds, just like hell, hell, uh, Ghost Rider. You get his head, it's all flames, and his chest. But everything else is chill, just like the bike. Love it. So, yeah, guys, this review is running a little long. But, um, you know, the art on this bike looks really great. Um... The detail, you know, this is Toy Biz, if you didn't know. Um, so, they don't put these toys, I mean, these accessories in our boxes anymore. It's too big. This would be another at least 30 bucks nowadays. So, this figure in a box, probably on our shelves, would probably cost us close to $45, $50. Easy. Easy if they made a box set like this. So, they may end up making another one later, but I doubt it. So, you might want to go pick this one up. I know I've been rambling. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I hate to say that twice, but I just want to remind you guys again that, you know, I just want to have this video with some content. I know you're staring at, like, you know, a screen, and I'm just talking, but, you know, show you both sides. I'm about to end this video in a couple seconds, and I'll see you guys later, man. Like I said, Black Bolt will be next. Peace.